Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 4, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. And as I said for the last few, basically this entire week, we ran into massive resistance here at the 200 moving average, created a shooting star. And since then, we have been falling apart. So we did fall quite significantly today, down uh, minus 3.48%. We are hitting the middle of the Bollinger Band break below there. That could see the drop even further, roughly minus 7% to the downside, all the way to the very bottom. And at this current stage, that is fairly plausible. That will drop from we are where we are at the moment, because we don't really have any pullback here. From where we are at the moment, all the way down to the 300 moving average, and that's a drop of roughly 7 to 8% to the downside. If we look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. MACD is still in negative territory, just above the signal line, and, and basically rounding off. So it may cross the signal line within the next uh, two or three days. RSI is bearish, the CCI is also becoming bearish, and stochastic is very bearish indeed. So let's look at DVI. So DBI has rallied today 0.30%. Technical indicators there are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish still. Thus RSI is bearish. CCI is bullish and so is the stochastic. We're just about the middle of the bullish band here. So to the upside, there is roughly give or take 1% before we hit the very highs here. 20 exponential moving average has offered massive support. So breakdown will most likely uh, rally from the 20 exponential. So let's look at VTI. So VTI did break towards the 20 exponential and then rallied, but still we are uh, lower than we started today. We are down minus 0.44%. Uh, Technical indicators are all turning around, becoming bearish, but the middle of the bullish band basically held. So if we were to drop bit beneath the middle of the bullish band, we could go towards the bottom. And that's a roughly a drop of minus 2.87% to the downside. And then we'll basically drop back towards these previous lows. To the upside, if we manage to take out 219, then we are going significantly higher. So let's look at MCHI. So this continues to fall. We found massive uh, resistance up here, where we also found it back in the, in the past. You can do a lot similar to this see that we ran here here and here so give or take 84 is most likely the the highs of this market the highs of this market and uh, now we're pulling back towards support which is at the current stage uh, well we should find quite a lot of support here we have the have the 200 moving average, the 50 moving average, and the 20 exponential moving average all at the same place. If we break below here, then it's a fairly big uh, possibility uh, that will drop all the way down to the 300 moving average, which is the uh, very lowest over here. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. We're still overbought, so so at this current stage, yeah, it doesn't look very uh, very good for this ETF. So let's look at uh, IBB. So IBB found support at the 20 exponential, uh, rallied a little bit or bounced from there, and now we're trading just above the, the 20 exponential. If we look at technical indicators, MACD is flat, RSI is bearish, the CCI is flat, and the stochastic is basically uh, becoming bearish at this point. So we're finding support in the middle of the bullish band. If that breaks, then we could head all the way down to the very bottom, and that's a drop of roughly minus 1.9% to the downside to the upside if we manage to take out give or take 425 then we are going most likely to 430 35 and 40. so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support your channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much